Happy Thursday, everybody. Today we are reviewing for our test tomorrow, and we are applying everything we know about sign numbers. So, our warm-up, we are uh, completing the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division problems without a calculator. So try this four or five minutes and then come back. All right, so we have a negative five plus a negative three. If I have ne five negatives and I add three more, I'm going to have a total of eight negatives or negative eight. Now, if I have five negatives and I add three positives, those three positives are going to cancel out three of the negatives, leaving us with two negatives. Negative 12 minus negative six. If I have 12 negatives and I take away six of them, I would be left with six negatives or negative six. And now negative 12 minus six. This is actually the same thing as negative 12 plus negative six. So if I have 12 negatives and I add six more, I would have negative 18. And now multiplying and dividing. Remember the rule, if you have two negatives, that's going to create a positive. And if you have one negative and one positive, that's going to create a negative. So a negative two times a negative three is going to create a positive six. Positive two times negative three would be negative six. Negative 20 divided by negative five would create a positive four. And negative 20 divided by a positive five would be a negative four. Alright, let's go ahead and look at our first task. We're going to be talking about withdrawals and deposits. And remember, a withdrawal would be a negative number and a deposit would be a positive. And go ahead and try these two problems for about five minutes and then come back. Alright, so Martha had $67.27 in her bank account. She went on a shopping spree and spent... Twelve, uh, $126.34. What was her bank account balance after her shopping spree? The amount that she spent would be a withdrawal, which is a negative number. So really, this is going to be $67.27 plus negative $126.34. Or we can rewrite this as $67.27 uh, minus $126.34. 34. These are going to create the same answer. Which is going to be negative 59.07. So $59.07. So Martha is now working to pay off her shopping spree. She's working to pay off this negative 5907. She is paid $9.50 per hour she works, and she is working 15 hours in a week. She is paid at the end of the week and deposits her check. What is her bank account balance after she deposits her check? So she has a starting balance of negative 5907, and we're going to add the amount that she deposits. We need to figure out how much that's going to be, so I'm going to take her hourly wage and multiply it by the number of hours she works. So when I multiply $9.50 times 15, I would get 142.5. And I am going to add that to her current bank account balance of negative 59.07. And I'm going to get 83.43. So she is going to have $83.43 in her bank account balance after she deposits her check. All right, let's explore a cave. Charlie finds a cave and decides to explore it. He is currently at an elevation of a positive five meters above sea level. He descends into the cave at a rate of 10 meters per hour. What would his final elevation be after three hours? Try this for five minutes and then come back. All right. So first, let's set up a table to figure out how 
uh, far he descends into the cave. So we're going to know the meters he descends and we're going to know the time in hours. So I know that he can descend 10 meters per hour. Since he descends, he's going down, that would be a negative 10 meters per hour. I want to know after three hours how far he would descend. So to go from one to three, I multiply by three. So I need to multiply my negative 10 by three. Negative 10 times a positive three would be negative 30. So he descends negative 30 meters after three hours, but if he's starting at a positive five, I'm going to add the negative 30 or subtract a positive 30, leaving me with a negative 25. So he would be at a negative 25 meters. So this means he is 25 meters below sea level. All right, let's do our last task for the day. Patricia is currently working on a healthier lifestyle and has lost 20 pounds in five months. What signed number, so this is going to be positive or negative, represents her weight loss in one month? Try this for five minutes and then come back. All right, let's set up a table. So I know the number of pounds she's losing and I know the number of oops, months. So she has lost 20 pounds in five months. Since she is losing these pounds, that would be represented with a negative number. I want to know in one month how much she would, uh, how many pounds she loses. So I am going to divide by five to get to one, which means I need to divide negative twenty by five, and negative twenty divided by five would give me negative four. So she is losing four pounds in a month. This is represented with a negative four pounds to show that she is losing this. If it was a positive four pounds, she would be gaining that amount. So let's look at our lesson synthesis. A withdrawal, descending into a cave, weight loss, and weight loss can all be represented as a negative number. A deposit, ascending out of a cave or leaving the cave and weight gain can be represented as a negative number oh i'm sorry that's supposed to be a positive number so adding a negative number is the same as subtracting a positive so 10 plus a negative 5 is the same as 10 minus 5 subtracting a negative number is the same as adding a positive number so 10 minus negative 5 is the same as 10 plus a positive 5 Multiplying and dividing a positive number by a negative number equals a negative number. So 10 times negative 5 equals negative 50. Negative 50 divided by 10 is a negative 5. Multiplying and dividing a negative number by a negative number equals a positive number. So negative 10 times negative 5 equals a positive 50. And negative 50 divided by negative 5 equals a positive 10. All right, guys. Don't forget to do your go formative, and um, if you need help, please email me. Have a great day.